Pearl Audio. Uh, yeah, baby. We're looking at the one and only, the first original Tony Potts of Hand. Better known as the Fashion Pimp of New York. You are watching Pal Burl TV. TV. Burl TV. It was kind of one of those things like you've been driving a Toyota for a long time and your friend loans you his, loans you his Porsche. Yeah, I think Rich has hit a home run with this product. People are just happier, faster with what, with what I'm doing. We purchased a Burl B2 bomber a converter and uh, have been using it for every mix and as our master cloth now since we purchased it and it's been absolutely wonderful. Coloring on the, on the way in and then you get clarity on the way out which is I think what everybody always intended recording systems to be. It's exciting, it just it fattens things up, it, it just gives it character. It's been great. It sounds beautiful and I really love it. It gives you what we've been waiting to, for in, in A to D conversion. It, it gives it to you and speaks for itself. Burl, baby. Uh, Burl. <laughs> Burl TV. This is Larry Crane. You're watching Burl TV. When I heard these Burl converters in the mothership, I knew that there was a whole different sonic world going on. And it was kind of one of those things like you've been driving a Toyota for a long time and your friend loans you his, loans you his Porsche and you start driving that around and you realize what you've been missing. And the, the thing that I was hearing is something really subtle and really amazing. But what I felt is like a lot of the sounds had a, a larger girth, a larger sort of presence on the individual tracks but not in some kind of weird, hyped way, not in some kind of weird way that you get too much coloration and, and all the tracks start to have some sort of problematic build up. Or, there's nothing, it's not something so simple and don't be a bonehead internet dweeb and, and think that, that this is some stupid trick that they've just added some garbagey EQ to this thing to, to make it sound euphonic. This is a real piece of professional recording equipment and it's not gonna be cheap but you can buy a few channels at a time. This is something that'll up your game. And for a professional studio that services our clients as well as we can, I think this is one of the best products out there that's just up the sound of our studio. Our mixes are coming out better. It's fantastic. It's an amazing box to track in through. And um, I don't do much endorsement shit or any of the bullshit that people do in this business. But this is one of those things. This is a product made by people who know how to make good shit. It fucking works. Your studio will be 10 times better. Your clients might not even know what A to D means, but you'll know, they'll know this shit sounds better than it's ever sounded before. I'm sorry about the swearing. This is Larry Crane signing off. I'm Mike Brower, and you're watching Burl TV. I have two Burls. I've got the Bomber, which is very descriptive. Why I like the Bomber is just that it has its tone. It's got that analog in. I know I associate the Bomber with a certain sound, and so I'll immediately just go right to it. It's exciting. It just it fattens things up. It, it just gives it character. That's the story. Get down. My name is Mark Platty. I'm a producer, engineer, mixer, uh, based here in New York City. Well, I was listening to the 192. I had an Apogee 8, uh, 88,000. They all sounded good, but then I put up the Burl, and and I don't know. I I pretty much just kind of took out the checkbook. It was like it really kind of blew. It blew me out, honestly. And we started, you know, playing with the input level and like some things I really like cranking it up on those and you know the, the sound it had when it kind of hit that input harder and 
it almost feels so cliche to say things like warmth and balls and all that. But I mean, it does have all that. I don't know, I felt things more. And I think, I don't know, that's always something you're looking for. That my work feels like it has more intent and I feel like other people are getting it too. You know, when I, I find more that, you know, people are just happier faster with what with what I'm doing I mean I don't know how I was doing it I mean I feel like I was just had like you know I was rubbing two sticks together <laughs> you know I don't know how I was actually pulling all this off and and I remember that it was very hard to get people to sign off on things and now it's just it's so it's so much simpler for me to get you know what I have in my head to how I want it to sound it's just like you know, it's, it's so much simpler. Uh, my name is Francisco Botero. I work at Studio G Brooklyn. Thanks to the B2 Bomber, we were thinking, well, maybe this is the next step that we need to take so that everything becomes three-dimensional, so that everything feels like, you know, you're putting a little icing on top of it because that's what those transformers do. Once we hooked it up, plugged it in, it just made so much sense. And then as far as the digital to analog, it also gives you exactly what you need because it's just reference. All what you need is to hear accurately what's coming out of your system. Uh, you get color in on the, on the way in and then you get clarity on the way out which is I think what everybody always intended recording systems to be, you know. People kept trying to figure out different ways of making it better, making it cleaner, making it wider, you know, more headroom and and I think that Burl just nailed it. Really did. Baby Marishulo and you watch a Burl TV. So I use the the, uh, the B2. I love it, man. It changed my life. I had a thing. I had a gold unit that I threw in the trash and traded for my Burl. I love it, man. It's so fat and warm. Gives me that punch. Changed my life, man. Big time. Burl, baby. <laughs> just we 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 do we just did stem prints, you know, just off the board, you know, just straight up, you know, 12 pairs and uh, just printed it through. We went. I mean. And we had the luxury, we had every one. You know what I mean? And it just, that was it, man. Changed my life. <laughs> I love it. We watch it! Real TV. I'm Grand Mixer DXT from the Boogie Down Bronx. What I'm doing right now is I'm rocking with the burrow. All of your soft scents, you want to run them through a B2. It brings, it, it gives it the, a more natural sound a more transparent sound. I'm an analog guy, and I, I grew up using two-inch tapes and, you know, stuff like that. And I'm trying to get back to that sound as much as possible. And definitely the burrow brings me back there. It, it allows me to really hear all of the, the, uh, the ambience in my mixes. It, 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 you know, it, it spoke for itself, you know, and so sonically, I need truth. And so the Burl gives me the truth. It gives you what we've been waiting to, for in, in A to D conversion. It, it gives it to you and speaks for itself. Burl, baby. Two fingers. Hi, my name's Arun Pandian, and you're watching uh, Burl TV. I really like the Burl because it, it combines the transformers and analog with the converters, it has a sound, and uh, I just talked to a lot of people who used to have tape machines, and they got rid of them once they got the burl, and so I decided that I'd try it out, and uh, it's been great. It sounds beautiful, and I really love it. With the Mothership, I do uh, jazz ensembles, I do world musicians. I just did, uh, for the One Beat organization, we spent a whole day recording uh, musicians from all over the world. Uh, they came from the Middle East, they came from India, Africa, um, and I also do a lot of indie rock, being in Brooklyn, a lot of hip hop and R&B, just from my background, and uh, so it works for pretty much everything that I needed to. Bro, TV. 
My name is Robert Musso. I'm chief engineer for Bill Laswell for the last 30 years. And about three years ago, um, we purchased a Burl B2 bomber uh, converter and uh, have been using it for every mix and as our master clock now since we purchased it. And it's been absolutely wonderful. I love the sound of it. Um, I think it's phenomenal. And I'm here at the AES talking to these wonderful gentlemen about getting more burl gear. I go right at my knee 33609 into the burl and uh, I love it. I'm always between 50 and 75 percent on the meters. Occasionally if I have a, a gigantic mix with lots and lots of low ends uh, I might hit the uh, the peak buttons, which is great because I'll just turn around if I hit them and I know that I've gone too loud and I'll ask my assistant James to reset the, uh, the, the meters on the burl. And um, I, uh, I love it. You know, I think it's great. It has a wonderful sound at all volumes. We're watching Real TV. Uh, this is Tony Mamoni and you're watching Burl TV. Once once you start printing your mixes through the B2, coming back off tape, you're not going to want to use anything else. What's really nice is when you're just using the B2 to track, uh, you can have it wide open. And then let's say you're doing a mix where you're pushing the, the limits a little hard. It's so convenient to be able to step it down a little bit. So um, I love that about the B2. Uh, I also love the forgiving nature of it because sometimes I've got it really cooking and I'm popping into the yellow a little bit and it's never ever ever been an issue. So I'm a pretty big fan of the B2. Now in our A facility we've got, uh, we've got the mothership and uh, the only problem with it is we're, we need more channels <laughs> and that's the only problem. <laughs> My name is Haniel Trisna. I'm an independent engineer out of Houston, Texas. At my studio, I use the uh, mothership. You know, I have a 4N32 out configuration mainly for sending out my stems for mixing and then print it back in. What I found is with, with, with the burl, um, everything seems to have a little bit more heft to it. Everything is beefier, you know, and also on the top, it's not. It's, it's not as uh, harsh, you know, it's not harsh at all. You know, it's really smooth on the top. And also another thing is you, you can actually, you can actually slam the AD on the way in, you know, and you can kind of, you know, kind of mix into it to, uh, to, get, to get that slight compression. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think Richard has hit a home run with this product. Full audio. Bro, TV. That is so cool, well, man, for real. So, you're, you, you're gonna be rich. Way back, way back! Uh...